Hello there, I'm DJ, and this is War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what's coming out this week, and what's coming out this week is some pretty cool stuff. We got a guild raid coming, a vision card, a raid revival, and actually a bunch of other cool stuff. So first things first, I'm super pumped about the guild raid, let me tell you that, but let's talk about the card first, alright? Um, I, I think this card is actually really good. I might have sounded a little down on it last week. I still think I'm going to skip the card and I'll tell you why. Let me tell you guys about the card first. It's a very good card. Now, keep in mind it is a job card, so only Sword, Fist, and Mace can equip it, okay? But it's got Reaction Block Rate 48, Strike Attack 28, and HP up 25% for the party bonus. That's just the party bonus. The stats on the card, it's got HP, AP, Attack, and Agility. It's got the triple A's, which is nice, and HP. Um, it's got attack up and area resistance attack up, and a global buff on the card. It has HP up. I don't know what that percent's going to be. Probably 10, could be more, I don't know. Um, but that is for Lucio and Perrine only. But this other stuff, it's so good. This, this card is very good, and especially if you're one of the people that is looking forward to using that Fist team in the future. I personally don't know if I'm ever going to use that Fist team. I... unsure. You know, I don't really have any, like, concrete plans on doing so. I think I'm going to just have fun with other teams. But, you know, again, I'm going to... I am planning on skipping this card. But, hear me out. It's not a limited card, and it's not a 90 cost card. So it's a card that is possible to get in the future. There's no time restraints on it. Um, it'll be on select tickets eventually. It'll be, it'll have a hard quest too, so if you do pull it late, not to mention because it's not 90 cost, that means it'll be fairly easy to build with stars and mog metals. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very good card, but I really, really am just trying to skip as much as I can until the anniversary. They might get me with some kind of global exclusive surprise or something, but yeah, until the anniversary comes out, I really just want to save. I want Sephiroth, I want Yuffie, I want Full Metal Alchemist, all of them. You know, like, I want, want, want stuff in the future. So, I have to make cuts here. This is why. And, uh, I wouldn't be using this card at the present time anyways. So, you know what? Maybe I'll get it in the future while I'm pulling for some of those other things. Who knows? Um, now, I say I'm skipping. I still might... If they have like a good banner for it, or if they have like a 2k paid banner for it, or something like that, some kind of guarantee, I will just snag it, you know, I'll just pick it up right then. But I'm really not comfortable dropping a, tol a full 10k Vizior on it, just because I know I'm going to want that 10k Vizior for some of those other characters I mentioned. I'm really excited for those other characters, so... But, uh, yeah, it is a very good card, so I don't blame anyone if you are pulling for it. Let me know, are you guys going for this card right away? Are you going to try to wait and, and uh, take it slow like me, or do you just not care about it at all? And I know it has Warrior of the Crystal characters on it, so you might think it's part of the Warrior of the Crystal, like, release, and it's going to be limited in that sense, but it's actually not. It doesn't say anywhere on it that this card is limited. Um, and they were very specific with Perrine last week, saying she was only going to be available during the thing. So this card isn't limited. I'm pretty sure it's not limited. So I'm definitely not going to go ham on it. I'm not going to, like, break the bank. I'll just get it later. Um, even though it's Warrior of the Crystal cards, it's not limited. I'm pretty sure. Okay? Okay. <laughs> um, it's got a bingo board. That's the only thing you miss out on if you don't get it now, is the bingo board's going to be gone. But like I said with Mog Metals, with Stars, with the daily hard quest for it, um, you know, boom. And it's not like I'm going to be starting out with nothing, right? I'll get into that more in the next part, but, okay, so Ildira is getting her MA2 this week. That's amazing. I love Ildira. I use her on both of my accounts. She's so good, and uh, this is super exciting. These two items, Elf's Cloak and Galmia Coat, are also getting their plus six. Also, double amazing and exciting, because those are both pretty fun and good items to use. Um, so that's a super good thing. Now here's what I was going to get at with the card shards. So say I... So this week we're getting shards for the card in the login gifts, as well as Vizior, and two tickets. Or actually four tickets, so four shots to pull the card and maybe just get lucky and get the card then and there. Alright, so that is a possibility, but even if you don't, that's still a few more shards for the card, you know? So we're starting out here, we're gonna have 
some shards from all this, and the daily gill buy, assuming they have the gill buy, or I don't know if they'll keep it in the shop like they have for Perrine, but either way, there will be some form of gill shards more than likely, so I'll have a bunch of shards already set aside for when I do eventually get this card. Um, so it's not like I'm going to be starting from zero if I pull it later, right? I'll start, I'll have these shards from Login, I'll have the gill buy shards, and, um, and yeah, and stars and mog metals and stuff will help ease the burn, hopefully. And other than that, that's pretty much my, I don't know, my point of the card and skipping. I, I have a hard time putting these job cards to use. I have... I've pulled almost all the job cards so far except for one, and I really haven't used like hardly any of them. I think I've used Sylvie's card. That's about the only one. Um, I've I've actually used Zoma's card a little bit, but only in Arena for a bonus card. I haven't actually built a team that fully benefits from that one yet. So yeah, the job cards are rough for me, but uh, you know I do think this card actually has some amazing stats. And it's, I think it does actually look like a solid card. I'm just going to skip it because I'd rather get anniversary stuff. So let me know in the comments what you guys are going to do with the card. And uh, yeah, I'm super curious. Is everyone just going ham on that card? I know it can be an important card if you're looking into that strike build later on. But anyways, we're getting day quest item drop double up campaign. Guild gift triple up campaign. So you'll get three times the guild medals this week. Alright, so new storyline. Let me tell you, the storyline is in a great place right now. The story, the current story is actually super good, and it seems pretty hype. I'm really interested and excited to see where they go next, and I can't wait to do this. And not only that, but storyline is just great because it's got a lot of Vizior rewards and rank EXP. So you can level up your account rank, that gives you more energy, more energy cap, and more friend slots, so it's just overall solid, even if you like to skip the story. I know some people do. I like the story, though. I always watch the story cutscenes. Um, but here's the big news of the week, right? Guild raids. Guild raids are my absolute favorite content that they've added, I think, in the recent couple of years, right? Guild raids are so much fun, okay? Guild raids are fun because you can kind of compete with your guild members, um, just friendly little competitions or whatever, and I love it. It's just, it's really cool. And it's cool to see how everyone in your guild does. Because you can see, like, in in the little guild raid menu, you can actually see how your entire guild is doing. You can see all of their scores on everything they've done. You can see if they're slacking off and haven't, you know, and been skipping it. And I don't know, there's just something about it. And I know if you're, like, a really hardcore guild into it, you have the overall leaderboards, um, you know, to where you're competing in that. And... It can be really fun, like extra fun for those people. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just really like guild raids. I think it's fun. Uh, what what I really like, really, really like about them is the... Where are, we, where are we at here? The trial battle. I think this is one of the reasons why I find guild battles so fun. You can do the trial as much as you want. All day, every day. It doesn't cost energy. It doesn't cost an orb. You can literally just do it as much as you want. And I find it so much fun to go into the battles with these huge bosses and just bring like a team of five, right? Try, fight the boss with that team of five. Now, go back out of the battle, tweak something, change out an Esper, maybe a unit or a vision card or something and go back into the battle and see how dramatically different it was. You could make it so much better, so much worse. And yeah, it's just like the ultimate event for tweaking because it's free to do trial battles don't cost you anything and you can just do them as much as you want it's very fun and i don't know guild raids are just freaking awesome they're cool man now i'm not like hardcore hardcore where i'm gonna be going i don't go for like a top spot you know i don't i usually settle for like a decent score but i don't ever try to be like the number one the people that are number one on these raid fights are absolutely outstanding it's super impressive uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's really good work. Um, and I am definitely not going to put in that much effort, but I do still have fun and I still grind these raid fights quite a bit. I like them a lot. Now, uh, you get tons of guild medals for this. Okay. So you get guild medals. Actually, it says we're going to get grand raid medals as well, which I believe are the medals that we get from raid, revi uh, raid boss revival. I could be wrong. But I believe this is Raid Revival Medals too, so it looks like we might get Raid Revival Medals from this guild raid. But anyways, hopefully we have that sweet guild medal shop. We had 
In all the previous guild raids, except for the last one, we had this really sweet guild metal shop where we could spend guild metals and there was like multiple blossoms, tons of rainbow orbs in there, trust stone tickets, and a ton of other goodies. And you could just spend guild medals to get them. And it was so cool. It was such a good shop. It's one of the like best shops and one of the best places to spend your guild medals in the game. But for some reason, the last guild raid, they never gave us that shop. So hopefully we get it this time. But I really don't know. I actually don't know for sure if we're getting it or not, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I like guild raids, and hopefully you guys like guild raids, because I think they're fun. Now, we're also getting a raid boss revival. Oh, wait, actually, real quick, before I get into that, let me tell you about the guild raids. All right, so the elements are fire, water, earth, lightning, and ice. And so that means, you know, if you want to uh, go in there and have some strong teams against them, you're going to need a water team to combat the fire, lightning to combat the water, wind to go against earth, earth to go against lightning, and fire to go against ice. So there's no dark or light one this time. Uh, but, you know, you can always bring in dark or light with a big chaining team sometimes. You know, it might be your best option if you're strong in... In light slashing, for example. A lot of times, you can just bring a light slashing into one of these fights if you don't have the proper team for it, and boom, you're good to go. You don't necessarily have to be running the proper element uh, to fight these things, and you can still do a lot of work in your guild um, beating these down with one of those other elements if you have a good team for it. Anyways, sorry, that I got sidetracked a little bit, but uh, the Raid Boss Revival, let's get back into the Raid Boss Revival. Raid Boss Revival is really cool because it gives us a chance to fight all these old Raid Bosses that we've had, and it gives us a chance to get all these free Vision cards. And I say free because, I mean, they don't cost Vizior. You can acquire them and max them out completely free just by playing the game, doing the Raid uh, Revival, and the vision cards quest so every time you unlock one of these vision cards you it unlocks a quest in your uh events tab and in these quests you just can complete them and get every shard needed to max out the card for free and i say free it's going to cost you energy but it's not going to cost you vizior or anything like that now some of these cards are even espers this one's kraken chimera dragon and lich these four are actually espers as well as vision cards, so that is super good if you're a newer player or you are uh, somebody that maybe has had bad luck pulling espers in the past. Well, you get free espers here, and again, I mean free as in no vizior, but you still have to play the game to unlock them with like the currency from the raid revival. Um, but yeah, it's it's super good. Raid Revival is amazing. There's also other good rewards in the Raid Revival shop as well, not just that. So if you're someone that already has all these espers and uh, um, vision cards, then bingo, bango, bongo. Yeah, see, here's the Grand Raid Medal shop. So this is the Grand Raid Medal. This is the that medal they said the Guild Raid would, would give. I don't know if they meant to say that or what, but this is so good because you can get old recipes in here as well like if you're the type of person that maybe started the game a year and a half late and you missed out on like a couple of runs worth of alexandrite ring or platinum robes or something boom now's your chance to get them now there's a lot of stuff in here so you're probably not going to be able to get all this stuff unless you are a grinding madman it's possible i guess but it's just a lot so make sure to pick some good stuff out of here if you want white marshmallow is amazing so many things in here are actually really good. So black garb, love it. Uh, is the winter outfit in here? Winter clothes? I don't see. Yeah, winter coats in there. So yeah, there's all kinds of great stuff in here. So uh, yeah, and ra we don't always have raids. Raids don't come around like every week or anything. And these raid revivals, I feel, are, I feel are even more few and far between. So to pick up some of this stuff is great. Um, and those vision cards and espers as well. Now, a bunch of jobs are getting buffed. I don't want to take too much time going over this, but some of these buffs are actually amazing. But Staff Mage, Arithmetician, Duelist, Thief, and Dragoon are all getting buffed. Uh, there's so many good characters listed in these jobs that I can't even... But one of the MVPs of the game, Arithmetician, Halloween Little Lila. But also, remember, Ildira is an Arithmetician, and she's getting her MA2 this week as well. So Ildira is getting super buffed this week, if you think about it. She's getting Arithmetician buff and her MA2. Uh, Duelist, Halloween Fred, that's another Halloween unit. 
But yeah, kill Faye. Oh, there's just too much. I don't want to get too much into this. I could talk about these buffs all day. Okay, one of the arithmetician things that I want to point out, though. Holy damage increase. Love it. You love to see it. And, uh, yeah. But I don't, again, I don't want to... A lot of these are damage increases or just other buffs to the attacks and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah. All right, and... There's also a new beginner update. So if you guys are new players and somehow you found my video before the beginner video, I don't know how you got here. I don't know how you found my video, but uh, you can check this out. You can find the link to it in game or you can just go to their official uh, YouTube channel. And yeah, it's going to be on background repeat overview. Background repeat is very important and super helpful. One of the best things they've added to this game ever. So if you're not familiar with it, definitely check this video out. Um, and then there's the auto battle manual battle. Okay, this is the manual battle. We already did the auto battle one, but there's the manual battle manual battle PvP tournament this weekend, I believe. February 11th. Yes, that is this Saturday, if I am not mistaken. Boom, yep. Now, I gotta say, the auto battle PvP tournament was so much fun to watch and just hang out in the stream chat, and it was so cool. I will definitely be in the manual battle. If you like War of the Visions then you should definitely hang out there. It's so much fun. I think it's on their official channels. Yeah, Twitch and YouTube on uh, Saturday the 11th at 1800 PST or PDT. PST. So that is 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you're in my time zone, that's 9 p.m. Uh, I will be there. Those are so much fun. And I look forward to seeing everybody there. And hopefully this one is as fun and as epic as the last one. It was great. Anyways... Uh, I feel like I've blabbed on way too much. Let me know if you guys are excited about this card, if you're going to skip it. Let me know uh, what you plan on doing. And do you like guild raids? I love this week already because I love guild raids. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a bit of a long one. Um, if you're still here, you are a champion. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. And yeah, just have an amazing day. If you are pulling, have a great day. Have great pull luck this week. And, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all I got. So, I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you on my stream. I will be live streaming this game on Wednesday morning. I stream every Wednesday morning. Every time there's, like, an update or a reset or whatever, I'm always streaming this game. So, I will be here on Wednesday morning with some War of the Visions action live, if you want to hang out live. Um, and, yeah. Hope to see you then. It'll be my Twitch channel. I stream on Twitch. Um, and yeah, have just have a good one. Thank you, thank you, and goodbye and farewell. See you later. Doodles.